Mr. Investalot, welcome back to the channel, my bio nano brothers and sisters. We got some huge news today, and I'm absolutely loving it. Just look at our pre market value. We are up 6.3%. Come on. Thank you to everybody who hits me up on Twitter. TMG sent me this satisfying news. The largest hospital has actually started using bio nano genomics. Baby. There is also a lot of recruitment going on, baby. Thank you, Clayton. And these are also very, very recent. These are all within the last two days. They're recruiting like mad. Also, there could be lots of people actually purchasing privately for their genetic diagnostic labs. Our Sapphire system, baby. I'm also going to be talking about the latest price targets and how we've been working with Harvard for quite a while now. So this is going to be a very juicy video. I'm super excited to deliver it to you today. If you want to become my true supporter, just click the join button above my head. It really gives me time to research and look at other stocks as well as bring you the latest news but if you're unable to join just you clicking like and clicking subscribe means the world to me drop me some comments and drop me some comments as well be like hey miguel what's up baby now let's get straight into it okay so thank you very much to tmg capital for sending this to me and this news is actually traveling like wildfire so as you can see here it's also hit like yahoo finance it's hit loads of different blog sites at the same time because we're popping so the largest hospital diagnostic lab in canada pilots bio nano sapphire system so it's seeking to convert its 30 year old workflow so this is an old workflow and this is based on multiple technologies into a single high resolution assay to transform to transform cancer diagnosis so they're going to convert away from their 30 year old workflow they've been doing this for so many years they're looking to transition away from it and actually have one system and that could be the sapphire system can you imagine what this means for us this is so big so this is actually crazy so it's announced today that the sapphire system is being piloted by the university health networks laboratory medicine program and this is in toronto canada so this laboratory medicine program lmp is the largest hospital diagnostic laboratory in canada and one of the largest in the world so they perform 25 million tests per year and serving 1300 patients per day can you imagine what that means in consumables Every single time they're testing, can you imagine what that means for our pockets, baby? I love you guys. I love you. So the University Health Network's Cancer Cytogenetics Laboratory is led by Dr. Adam Smith, and they plan to use BioNano Sapphire System to test its ability to streamline cancer diagnostic techniques, improve the detection of abnormalities, and reduce complexity and costs. Uh, Dr. Adam said, The hope is to leverage the unique power of optical genome mapping by developing new sapphire-based assays intended to resolve diagnostic questions that are challenging with existing standard of care tools. Cytogenetics, and specifically G-branded karyotyping, is a core technique for looking at chromosomal changes in cancer patients. And it's been a core technique of cytogenetic laboratories for over 30 years. Karyotyping has provided a cost-effective means to assess chromosomal changes at the genome level, but it is labor intensive and it has limited resolution to identify specific rearrangements. FISH is a targeted assay requiring continued validations and workloads for new and emerging cancer biomarkers. New technologies such as OGM may represent a better alternative and increase the precision of detecting chromosomal changes in cancer. So the key words I can get from this guy is he wants to make it cost effective, but he wants to locate and find stuff that other machines can't. He wants to improve the accuracy. He wants to look at the structural chromosomal changes in cancer. This could lead to the clinical reality of a single assay, high resolution analysis across the entire genome. Massive. Eric Holmlin, our CEO of BioNanogenomics, it is gratifying to see increasing adoption of Sapphire as the evidence continues to mount, showing how Sapphire can consolidate multiple antiquated techniques into a single streamlined approach for cytogenomics analysis. So they've had a 30 year workflow of using these old techniques, right? This uh, university hospital. And they are looking to just put it in one single place. They want everything to be done in one single place and get even more accurate results and be cost efficient. So this pilot is being carried out by Canada's largest hospital diagnostic laboratory. And it's a significant milestone for us as we seek to make OGM with Sapphire a cornerstone of efforts to improve cancer diagnosis and discover new medicines. We thank Dr. Smith and his colleagues for their commitment to us and we are impressed by their innovative drive. So this is really huge news. When you see universities and massive hospitals start to work with us and they start test piloting programs because they can see the benefit of what we can do. And these guys run like thousands and millions of tests every single year. Can you imagine what that means for us if we're able to get one of these clients? We get one of these clients, they can see the benefit of us and they will all come. 
because the cost is right, the accuracy is right, and we can diagnose and find things that other people cannot. We are a key part of the equation. If our system is a new technology that can represent a better alternative and increase the precision of detecting chromosomal changes in cancer, then why wouldn't they want to use our system? Next, let's talk about bionanogenomics and the way they are recruiting. So as we can see here, explore career at bionanogenomics just below. You can see we've got bioinformatics scientists, we've got regional business managers in Germany, we've got people in San Diego here, managers for scientific affairs, project managers, and literally it's a whole load of jobs that have opened up in the last two days. So I think they're looking for this uh, bioinformatics scientist because they want to continue innovating. As you can see here, it says to develop tools to analyze, annotate, and prioritize clinically important structural variants. So they have the position based in San Diego, and they want this individual to perform data mining, analysis, and integration of genomic data from BioNano, Next Generation Sequencing, and other high throughput platforms. The regional business manager in Germany. As everybody is running to try and become, you know, genomic champions and leaders globally, we have started now to recruit a regional business business manager in Germany. So the primary role of this business manager will be to generate new product sales and managing business relationships with existing and new customers to help further the adoption of BioNano technology. So this guy is going to be focused on making sure we get sales exceeding revenue. And I think ultimately what we want to do is make sure that loads of institutions, cytogenetic labs across Europe start to adopt our technology. And that's after the Festival of Genomics and the Symposium where we were inside worldwide virtual events. I'd also like to show you an email I received from um, some of the sales team because as you guys know, I got into the Festival of Genomics and just here on my left, they're reaching out to every single person that registered at the Festival of Genomics to prompt them to see if they're interested in purchasing a Sapphire system and to further explain and actually create a business relationship with that person which is very useful in connecting and getting customers. Also, what's interesting to note is they're hiring a software quality engineer and they basically want this person to build and manage automated software testing suites of genomic algorithms. So imagine if you have software and algorithms that's literally going to analyze all of the data you've just taken in and then present it forward. You won't need to have scientists in the lab constantly analyzing it manually. The machine is going to actually do it for you. And in terms of the CLIA labs as well and the tissue samples, imagine that all of this can be automated and done from start to finish. Next we can see here, I don't know how true this is or not, but um, somebody tweeted that one of the ex-students owns a private genetic diagnostic lab and he's just convinced him to buy a few Sapphire machines for his business. Brother, I salute you. If you managed to do that, man, thank you very much, baby. You're helping the cause. You're helping everybody adopt OGM and the Sapphire system. So as you guys may or may not know, um, the Oppenheimer analyst Kevin DeGita believes that technical developments could lead to reduced cost of goods sold per genome. So he's saying that the cost of uh, goods per genome the chip cost could go down to $100 per genome and this could make this so accessible and could actually increase the volume of testing. The five star analyst said BNGO is launching an aggressive initiative to combine these improved components with new informatics workflow to support a stepwise increase in throughput from 5,000 genomes per year to 68,000. So he believes that we have about 380 million in the war chest and it's going to provide us with balance sheet flexibility. He states that he believes that this is going to allow BioNano to aggressively invest in both commercial infrastructure expansion and next generation optical imaging technologies. Not only that, but the Gita has said that by 2026, three years into the launch of next generation platform will offer up to 80% reduction per genome disposable costs. So this is going to be hella cheap for people to be running tests. We're going to be at the forefront of it. So the Gita says, bye bye bye. Giving us a street high value of $15. This guy has hiked it up from a price target of $1.5 to now $15. And I think it's only begun, baby. He also states that in terms of cytogenetics, the total addressable market could reach more than 1.5 billion. So I went and looked at the old presentations for uh, bionanogenomics and I wanted to see what they thought years back. So actually this one's from January 2020. This is an old presentation from a year ago. And you can see here they stated that the current cytogenetics total available market cap was around about $1 billion, right? So they were saying 2,500 cytogenetic labs, 2 million tests, $500 per test. They also stated that this is $1 billion worldwide and it's growing at a compounded annual growth rate of 10 to 15% per year. This is driven by the US, by China and by Europe. Now here's where it gets interesting. We estimate the market for Sapphire this was back then a year ago, they said it's going to be around $2.6 billion to $3.8 billion based on adoption throughout digital cytogenetics and genomics research. So as you can see here, 2,500 cytogenetic labs worldwide. So they stated that machine sales would be around about 500 million to 600 million. 
And they also said that uh, to cytogenetic labs, they'd get a consumable reoccurring annual revenue of 200 to 400 million. In terms of research, they were talking about 7,000 plus institutions and it's quickly growing. They said that their sales of the Sapphire would result in 1.4 to $1.8 billion. And they said that annually they 500 mil to $1.1 billion reoccurring revenue from consumables. So you guys may know that we've been working with a Harvard Medical School and they've been testing out our Sapphire system. And so this was back in November 2020. It says the multi-system mystery. So not only were they looking at the C virus and uh, the development of inflammatory syndrome, but recently they were also looking at structural variations in rare genetic disorders. As you can see here, the Harvard Cancer Center. So it goes to show that once you get a client in, they could be exploring one set of diseases and they can actually explore and transition over to rare disease. They can be looking at cancers. They can be looking at the C19 as well. So I think the total revenue, we're actually underestimating it. We've got fingers in different parts of the pie. And now when we're going into genetic testing as well, and we're looking at Linogen, there's a lot more revenue that could come. It's not just this total addressable market cap of 1.5 billion. That's only for cytogenetics. So what about for research? And also what about linogen? So for consumers coming direct to actually check as well for developmental delay in autism, there's a lot of money to be made and also a lot of people that we can actually help. I just want to say thank you so much guys for sending me in stuff. So guys, if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification bell because there's a lot of pieces of the pie I'm always putting together. Oh baby, if you want to join and support the family, just click here, it's only 99 cents. I'd also like to say thank you to all of my bosses. So I want to say thank you to Jay, Joe, Joseph, TMG, Fred, and Blue Sky on Mars. Thank you guys for supporting me. And if you guys are unable to join channel memberships, just you hitting like and clicking subscribe on this video means the world. Until next time, my bio nano brothers and sisters, Mr. Investalot, over and out, baby.